and you listen, but they were almost like players for us. It was a family, it really was. And uh, you listen, we had fun. At the end of the season, uh, both Harold and I go into Seattle, each of us have 96 RBIs. And all the coaches are betting amongst each other who's going to get 100 RBIs. Okay, remember this? So Jimmy Leland comes up to me, he goes, I've thrown you BP all year, I'm going to pick you, which you didn't, I think you picked you here. <laughs> so uh, I wound up, uh, remember this? So Jimmy he, he was a smart guy. He was a smart guy. <laughs> so we get to the thing, so all of a sudden, uh, Harold gets a couple of RBIs, I'm at 99, uh, Harold's at 99, Bull, he went AWOL, he was done. <laughs> the last game of the year, Jim B was pitching. And you know, you want to hear stories about this. And uh, Harold gets a hit. No, Mike Squires leads off the game. Tony puts him up in the front spot, and he hits a double in a gap off the wall. And he tries to take third. He stumbles and gets tagged out. Harold gets a double, which would have been his 100th RBI. Okay? So Harold's on second. Pass ball. I'm batting. He's on third base. Darnell Cole's at third base. I hit a ball down the line, and I beat it out for a base hit. And I turn around for the second out, and Harold is one foot from home plate. <laughs> not one to touch him. And I can tell you, I didn't, but I got him. I didn't get anything out of the prize. <laughs> that was the fun with the coaches. They kept everything entertaining, and they knew we had a good team. Harold always had an entry, you kidding. <laughs> uh, you think that one step further, when Squires got, he stumbled. And it cost Harold and another guy. That's why we were hoping he'd fall off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> this was for Ron Kittle. Ron, I used to 